Recently, prosecutors in Atlanta charged former United States President Donald Trump and several others for meddling in the Georgia 2020 elections. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis presented a Georgia grand jury Monday with the election interference case against Trump and his allies for attempts to overturn President Joe Biden's victory in the state of Georgia in the 2020 elections. The hearing reportedly lasted for 10 hours before a decision was reached. This brings the total number of criminal charges Trump is currently facing across four separate cases to 91. Included in Monday's charges are are violating Georgia's Rocketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations or RICO Act, punishable by a maximum of 20 years in prison, solicitation of violation of oath by public officer, conspiracy to impersonate a public officer, conspiracy to commit forgery in the first degree, and false statements in writings and uh, filing false documents. However, Trump, the GOP front runner, denies any wrongdoing. But is this going to be the future of elections in America, where a sitting president tells his, tells his attorney general to indict the opponent, to try and knock the opponent down? This is what's happening. And then you ask the simple question. So this has been going on for a long time, the same stuff. Why didn't they do it two and a half years ago? You know why? Because then it wouldn't have mattered so much. You know, they want to take away your freedom of speech. Everything else would have mattered a lot less. But And it would have been terrible, because it's all bogus. But. Why, if they were going to do it, why didn't they do it two and a half years ago before the election, right? They waited till the election. Meanwhile, according to Willis, all 19 co-defendants must surrender by noon August 25th. She said she plans to try all 19 accused together. To recall in his first campaign since the August 1st, 2023 indictment, the former president questioned why it was only made now and not two and a half years ago. Trump also accused the Biden administration of election interference.